This is a two and a half minute overview of the forge. The forge can be used to make your own staff and body gear. You begin by choosing the type of item you want to make. Vigilant body gear allows for the highest possible maximum defense, heroic for the highest attack, and arcane for the highest magic power. You have nine points that can be spent on improving the gear's base stats. I'll make some vigilant gear now. This vigilant gear will have high defense to keep me alive, but I'm planning on using it aggressively. I'm going to be using the gear in jewels, so I don't need a huge spell deck. I'll set it to 20, then maximize my attack, and then my defense, and then spend the rest of my points on magic power. I'm going to be using a spellbind and bind magic wings. I'll also use Solaris and Draugar. This will give me huge movement and make me stronger every time I kill something. Once I'm done, I can customize the appearance of my gear. Used right, this gear makes you into a flying vampiric angel of death, so obviously everything's going to be black. I'll give myself a tastier helmet, some shoulder decorations, and some of this stuff over here. There we are, delicious. I can also give my new gear a name. And we're done. Now I'll look at my staff. Again, you begin by choosing the staff type. I'm going to choose a staff of armory. This should have a good chance of swords, bows, and even more wings. Multiple armory items stack, so if I can cast three sets of wings, I'll end up with a movement of six. For my mega spell, I'm going to go for divine shield and try and make it as cheap as possible. This is a very aggressive build. I'm hoping to get my shield out early in the game and then kill stuff to buff my remaining stats. For my talismans, I'm going to bind Bolt and Blob, both to keep enemies at a distance and as fallbacks when my wizard's direct attacks fail. I'll also use a mana bind talisman to help with my mega shield and talisman activation. Finally, I can name and customize my staff. And we are done. I'll be posting up another video in a moment that shows how gear like this can be used in-game by the community manager Slippery Jim.